So I, I wanted to make sure that I, I honed in on three things, three ideas that really culminate in one sentiment for me, and those are uh, hope, joy, and love. Uh, the first switch, hope. So I don't know if anybody's noticed, it might be just me, but uh, lately things have been pretty rough. Naturally shouldn't dwell on that too much tonight, but um, what I will say this, this event represents is um, that despite how difficult things have gotten, the, the things that are good, the things that are important, they're still happening. We still are taking the time, uh, regardless of the circumstance, to celebrate, to come together in support of what's important. The short version is challenge does not overcome hope. And, <clears throat> and what really instills that hope in events like these is the second item, joy. Um, why do people cry at weddings, you know? Why, uh, <laughs> what, what is it that's so moving about seeing two people commit themselves to one another um, that we're moved to tears? Uh, and really, I, I think it's that we're a culture, we're a species that really celebrates, that really delights in new life. I mean, there's, there's a very unique experience in, in meeting a, a new niece or a nephew or meeting a grandchild for the first time or being a parent for the first time. <laughs> it just kind of became real. Aww. <laughs> well, what's, what's so much more impactful about a marriage is that it is the weaving of two lives into one. We heard that in the, in the ceremony today. But it's also a choice. It's somebody... It's two persons coming together and saying, I am making a choice to start a new life with you. And that's profound. There's something that kind of gets glossed over and again, I, I think can kind of get lost in the mix, which is that um, obviously first and foremost, today is about the love that they share, that today is about celebrating them. But it's also an opportunity for us to get to be present and say how much we love you. That love, that's what I want to focus on. One of the greatest privileges that I get to have in speaking is that I get to be a mouthpiece for what I know we all very deeply feel, which is that we care about you guys so, so much. And, and part of the ceremony was also, um, we got to hear that we are the support network and I get to be up here and, and express how, how deeply I know we all feel that. That love for you. <laughs> Tori, Victoria Rose, Young Vic, in front of God and all of these really, really beautiful witnesses. Um, Tori, you have my oath, my word, and my promise to hold you in my heart wherever I go, to always be your weird nerd follow you on your adventures and to bring you along for mine. To see our marriage as a journey, not a destination. To be your best friend. To hold space in my heart for my love to continue to grow with you and for you. To approach you always with respect and kindness. To be silly, to be ridiculous, to be fun, to make you feel safe and supported. To be the one with whom nothing is off limits. To trust you always and to be faithful and honest. To cherish you, your company, your smile, your intelligence, your humor. To not only fall deeper in love, but also wider and in new ways never forsake the lifelong mission of communicating just how beautiful you are to me. To never stop searching for the right words 
to say how much I love you. To be, as you once put it, very long term. <laughs> <laughs> I know I say it all the time, but here it goes again. You are my best friend. Today I am literally marrying my absolute best friend. Over the years, James has had many nicknames surface, and uh, a few years ago, I accidentally called you my hubby bubby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my face turned beet red, and you immediately looked at me with a grin and said, did you just call me hubby? <laughs> I, uh, I told you that it was an accident and that it just slipped out, but I knew. One day, one day would come where that nickname would be appropriate. My dad calls you hummus. My sister calls you moose. <laughs> I've called you babe face, my mountain man, hun. And now I finally get to call you my hubby bubby. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to keep you wild and spontaneous and keep infusing fun into the little things. I'll make sure that every trip to the grocery store feels like a visit to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to slow down when you need it and to make space for a relaxing night in, reading our books together on the couch, or playing a game at the dinner table into the late hours of the evening. But not that late. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to keep growing and learning and evolving into a better partner every day. I promise to put the work in, if and when things get hard, and to cherish this whole journey that we're on. I promise to never stop pursuing you, and I'll keep falling in love with you every single day. with my feet I walk down the road that you started I need you to know that I heard you every word I've waited way too long to say everything you mean to me in case you don't live forever let me tell you now I love you wrap your head around in case you don't live forever let me tell you the truth i'm everything that i am because of you i i've carried the song in my mind listen it's echoing in me but I haven't helped you to hear it, oh no And we've, we've only got so much time I'm pretty sure it would kill me if you didn't know That pieces of me are pieces of you I've waited way too long to say Everything you mean to me in case you don't live forever, let me tell you now I love you more than you'll ever wrap your head around In case you don't live forever, let me tell you the truth I'm everything that I am In case you don't live forever, let me tell you the truth I'm everything that I am, and so are you.
worth falling for. Oh, and with open arms, I'll carry yours. Come, rain or shine, I'll cover you up and calm the sky. Just by the potion. 